I'm Dr. Allison Arwady, Commissioner at the Chicago Department of Public Health. We've been getting a lot of questions about individual activities and people's individual risk for COVID-19. I want to introduce you to a matrix that will help you think twice as you're thinking about your COVID-19 risk. Step one, think about yourself and all the people with whom you have close contact. Is everyone under age 60? Is everyone healthy without underlying medical conditions? If the answer is yes to both of these questions, you're in a lower risk category for a severe outcome. If the answer is yes to one of those questions, you're in a moderate risk. And if the answer is no to both of those questions, you're in a higher risk for severe outcome. Step two, we think about the public activity. Can you avoid crowds or close interaction with people you do not know? Can you always keep a six foot distance from others? Can you always wear a mask? And can everyone else? And is the activity outdoors? If the answer is yes to all of those questions, that's a lower risk public activity. If the answer is no to some of the questions, that's getting into the moderate risk for public activity. And if the answer is no to most or all of those questions, that's a higher risk public activity. So let's put this all together. Let's say in step one, I'm under 60, but I live with someone who's over 60 and has an underlying medical condition. That puts me in this higher risk category for severe outcome. So I'm going to think really carefully about step two in the activity. Let's say I cannot avoid crowds. I cannot keep a six foot distance. I cannot always wear a mask and the activity is not outdoors. In that case, I would be in this upper red portion where I should be avoiding non-essential activities at this point. So you can use this matrix every time you're thinking about a public activity. Do your step one, what is my risk and the risk for people in my close circle? And number two, answer these questions about the activity. As we continue to move forward, the risk is going to hopefully continue to drop, but you're going to keep making these same decisions day in and day out with each new activity. So please keep using this matrix as you make decisions in your life. Think twice and together we can be safe Chicago.